This conference will now be recorded. Okay. Thank you for being here and welcome to our Tooele County Great Utah Shakeout Exercise kickoff meeting. We're excited to have you here and excited to have you participate in this exercise for 2021 with us. Whoops. Won't let me advance. Every year, the state of Utah participates in an activity called the Great Utah Shakeout. It is a way to help people in Utah learn about earthquakes and the response that they should do should one happen, of course. We had one last year, and because it wasn't the big one, not many people did drop cover and hold on, but it was a good um, opportunity for us to recognize that yes, we do have big earthquakes in Utah, and yes, they can even be bigger than what we had, and yes, we need to be prepared for them. So every year on the second Thursday at 1015 in April, they hold an exercise called the Great Utah Shakeout and encourage everyone in the entire state to participate by dropping, covering, and holding on. Then to think about what will the next steps be after the shaking stops. That is where the real exercise begins if you truly start to think of what are your next steps. Think about the places where you might be at any given time. Think about where you may be at work or if you're shopping or if you may be on the road, you may be anywhere at any time. So it is important to think of all those places and make a plan for your next steps after the shaking stops. So this year, after the shaking stops, we are asking the businesses, schools, and churches of Tooele County to report what potential damage they may have after a major earthquake. For our part of the exercise, we wanted to test our system capabilities. We wanted to be able to communicate and work with our partners within Tooele County. As with all exercises, we are looking for the gaps in our systems, in our plans and communications and other things. So that when something big does happen, we won't have as big of gaps because we will know what some of those are and we will be working on fixing them. That is why we do exercises. Our big, biggest objective is to test our different types of communications so we know they will be working. So we invite you to participate with us to help us test those things. And at the same time, you will be testing and strengthening your plans uh, and your systems and testing your capabilities, working with your partners, finding gaps in your plans and testing your communications. Okay, let's talk about potential damage first. So we all know that earthquakes don't happen often, but they do cause some major damage depending on how high the magnitude is and the position of it and the depth of it. But all of us know that every year we have major weather events that affect our communities in various ways. And every year it is something different. So we need to make gen general as well as some specific plans. This exercise for the shakeout, we're going to focus on the earthquake scenario because it's the shakeout. But please recognize that your preparedness for earthquakes translates into preparedness for other types of disruptions that could have major consequences on your school, business, or church. So we are hoping that you will go around your facilities and look for places that could experience potential damage and that would affect your organization's continuity. Continuity meaning that you can resume, resume to normal operations fairly quickly. So Tooele County Emergency Management has pre procured a program that can document and map damage 
this is one of the ways we are working on communicating with our organizations throughout the county. This program helps us to see a big picture of damage because we all know that the first responders can't be everywhere all at the same time. They will always be there where there are fires or serious disruption, but they won't be able to come to where you are for maybe a few days or even into the next weeks. So as emergency management, we need to get an idea of the big picture so we can prioritize our resources and supplies and get help out to where it is needed. So Tooele County Emergency Management is going to offer a training on how you can utilize this program. So you can be able to report your damage and first thing you will do is establish your baseline, which will help you with insurance purposes and other business related needs after a disaster. The other thing we are asking, if you or your, um, if you or your organization will work on your continuity plan for recovery and how you can help your staff and employees and families in your organization be better prepared. Because when they are prepared, they are more likely to come back to work sooner and maintain the continuity for your organization needed to get moving forward in recovery. Your business, school or church is very important to our community. Your continuity is important to keep your organization continuing to serve the community. Plus, when you are prepared, you can reach beyond and serve those who have been affected by whatever disaster may happen. When you have prepared your business, school, or church, it increases the resiliency and strength of our whole community. We are all part of a big puzzle that keeps our community running. And every single organization here today is vital to recovery. And your help in that recovery can make so much difference. So you're probably asking, what do we do to help our community? How do we work on our continuity in our organization so we can recover faster and better? How can we make sure we are prepared for what disruption comes our way? Well, I'm going to send you a questionnaire. And we'll get to that in a minute. But in that questionnaire, it will have questions about your communications plans, who your partners are, and what things you might need to think about for continuity. It is also going to ask if you'd like to participate with us in this drill to help us. This is not a mandatory thing that you have to do, but we sure would appreciate your help. And in return, we are offering to help you through some of the questions that you may not be able to answer fully. So after you send me back your answers, I will send you some resources I have gathered to help improve your plans and work on your continuity. I cannot write your plan for you, but I can help you somewhat. And I want to help you because your organization is vital to our community. So would you like to participate with us? Even if you don't, you can still get help from me and Tooele County Emergency Management with the resources that we will be trying to push our systems and um, get with our organizations to help us test our systems. But we totally want you to feel comfortable with whatever you want to do. So let me share the timeline of our exercise day. At 10.15, the shakeout begins. You take the protective measures with drop cover and hold on for 60 seconds. Then at 1016, your business makes sure everyone is okay and accounted for. So that usually takes a few minutes, just making sure everybody's all right. Then at 1018, we would like your organization to do a damage assessment of your facilities and the street and environment around your business. During this time, Look for specific things that might happen in an earthquake or a windstorm or a powder, power outage or a flooding event. We've had every single one of those. Just visualize different disruptions and damage that might potentially happen. This will be a way to find gaps you may not have thought of. 
This time of assessing can also test your response plan and start on assessing your continuity. So think about injuries. And if certain people in your organization can't be reached, or if there's, it could be damage to a road that a vendor can come to your business, look at the roads right now in Texas. All the stores are empty and people are lined up with propane, but the resources can't make it in because they the roads can't be plowed and just different problems. So you need to think about those um, companies that you rely on that are outside of our own state even. So also think about the power for your computers and accessing the needed information that you need to access. So make up potential items in your assessment that you could report. Um, we will also send you some injects or prompts right before, so you will have a surprise. So at 11.15, you'll report to TCEM by text, and we have a text number that you can um, report through it, or Orion if you've taken the training, or you can email, or if you have amateur radio capabilities, you can make your report through amateur radio too, because we're involving our amateur radio group. They are such a huge asset to us, and we are so thankful to them. Then at 11.30, send your report of any changes, such as any other damage of, because of aftershocks, remember those aftershocks, or other things that have come up in your discussions together as an organization. Then about 12 o'clock, we will send you a link through GoToMeeting, just like we did um, for this meeting today, where we will have a meeting to discuss the overall picture from emergency management. And you will have the opportunity to offer potential services to help the community. We did this after the major fire in 2016, but this time it will be a virtual meeting. So think of um, the things about your organization. Do you have people that could volunteer and help sandbag? Or do you have resources in your organization that could benefit recovery? Do you have out-of-state resources that you know of? Can you think of other ways your organization could help? This first part of the exercise will be helping us work on our communications avenues and testing our capabilities. The second part will be working with our partners toward recovery. So you can see how we need you. See how having a continuity plan in place for your organization will help you too. So afterwards, go back and discuss with your organization what things you learned while doing this exercise. Um, not only talk about what happened in your organization, but also about the communication with TCEM and the ways you reported. We think that we all have nine lives, but really the only way we have those nine lives is when we prepare. So I will be sending another questionnaire after our exercise about some of the lessons that you might have learned. So we are going to offer the Orion system training a couple of times. It, there will be some daytime trainings and also maybe an evening training for those that um, are working and can't make it to the daytime one. There's also online training opportunities. We're also um, going to be sending the other opportunities for training like CERT, Community Emergency Response Team, um, the CPR classes and classes that American Red Cross does, and amateur radio and our continuity resources through TP3. Let me tell you about Tooele Response really quick. Tooele Responds is a nonprofit organization specifically tasked to help emergency management with finding people and organizations who can help, and also to hold the potential donations for survivors after a disaster. They train the community to be better prepared. They work with emergency management to know how to best respond 
during an event and work in the long-term recovery group that is usually set up to help a community recover when there has been a major disaster. This organization works in all phases of emergency management to help the whole community. They are in need of people and organizations to participate with them so they can have the cadre and resources they need when the time comes. You can learn more at TwillerResponse.org or just let me know you want to learn more information. So the training offered will be through TP3, which is the Tooele Public-Private Partnership and Tooele Response. We work with Red Cross and others for different types of training. And even though we can't do CERT training in person right now, we can. you can start on the online part. And then when we can start doing the in-person and training, um, in-person trainings again safely, we will be able to let you know um, that we will be doing those. So even the online part of that community emergency response team training is a good step toward preparedness. And it is so wise to have your own CERT team in your own organizations. So see these links? They are for the questionnaires that I would like you to answer. You can just hold your camera up to the QR codes. And the first two are the business and the um, churches. And the next slide will have the schools. Um, you also, Becky will put in the chat the links to the um, questionnaires that we'll, we would like you to reply to. Please, everyone, at least answer the first nine questions and submit it. But if you would like to help with, um, with if you would like help with additional resources from me, please answer the questions after those first nine. Um, even if you don't answer the questions, take a bit to think about these questions for your organization's recovery. And also for the contact information, please put a cell phone number for us to um, be able to put you into our notification system so that we would be able to contact you through our Tooele alerts and be able to contact you um, fairly quickly. So please submit your questionnaires by March 1st so we can plan for how many will be participating and get the emails sent out about training of Orion and other information and also to give me time to go through your questionnaires to get you the resources that you need. So here is the school um, link for the questionnaire. So they're pretty much the same, although every organization has a little bit different um, things to think about and worry about. So that's why they're different links. So I have two more questions to ask you. One, could you or someone from your organization participate in a planning team to help me write some scenario, the scenario and some probable injects for the participants? I could use at least one person from the business field, one from the faith-based field, and one from the schools field. It won't be much time, just a couple of virtual meetings to brainstorm, and then, the next question I have, um, would you like, what would you like to see to will a public private partnership address during their meetings and how often would you attend? So go ahead and you can answer that quest, those questions to Becky privately if you want, or if you want to let everyone know, but um, also remember to put your name and um, contact information to Becky so that she can have that list. So we really need as many organizations as possible to join us for this exercise. Like we want to put us to the test. So please, please let help us by letting as many other organizations in Tooele County that you know of, other businesses, other churches, other schools, that they can help us with this exercise and also to help them become better prepared. So we have recorded this video 
and it will be on our YouTube channel. And this is what our YouTube channel looks like. And that is the link for our YouTube channel. I won't have this up until next or till tomorrow, but it should be there by tomorrow, at least by the afternoon. Sometimes it takes a little longer to um, download it than expected, but it should be there by every um, by tomorrow afternoon. So if you can copy and paste that link, um, that would be really helpful and you can send it to people that you know of that would be interested in help with continuity planning and also to be participants in our ShakeOut exercise in April. Um, as we've seen in the just the past week, we know what snow can do to cripple entire communities. And we know that it, what, it's not the government who is helping the people that are struggling. It's the organizations, it's the businesses, it's the people and churches within the neighborhoods that are helping those that are struggling. There's been homes that have opened themselves to people who cannot um, have the, don't have the resources. But it's always best to be prepared. And so that's why we are focusing on businesses and churches and schools, because you really are such a vital part of our community in the helping when it's needed. So think about the things that you might need to handle a lengthy disruption in your organization. Do you know what you can do to get prepared? And if you have questions, we can help. Here's my contact information. If you have any questions about this presentation or anything about the pre exercise, um, please let me know. There's my email address. We are excited to participate with you. This is something we really haven't ever done before with um, inviting so many organizations to participate with us, but we wanna make it big and test our capabilities. We've been really working hard to um, gather our partners and our plans and work out those gaps that we hopefully won't have, but we know that we will have them. So we want to know how we can fix them better. So we're excited to have you participate with us. And we know that this can help us improve and it can help you improve and our whole community improve. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for your willingness to serve us and to serve the community. And thank you for being a great part of our great Tooele County. Is there any questions that you have right now? Anybody have any questions that I can ask? Robin, this is Becky. There's a question in the chat. Do you yeah. want them to do the survey now? or do you want to send the link again and have them complete it later? Either, because so we will send you, um, we'll send everybody that was on our list that is attending now to um, all the information that I just shared with you, but I just need it back by March 1st. So if you want to start it now, great. If you can't at the moment, then that's just totally fine. We will be sending an email out with the links for you to know and be able to click on easy. But um, I, we just wanted to have it for you right now so that you know about it and you can start sharing with um, the people that you know in other organizations that could join us. So yeah, so either way, I, as long as I have them by March 1st so that we can start really planning our exercise and how to help you, because we really want to help you with your continuity too, because when you're prepared, our communities are prepared. So yeah, any other questions? Okay, not hearing any, we will end. I'll stop the recording. And I thank you so much for joining us today. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email me and let me know. Or anybody, Becky or Becky at TCM can be able to help you. 
thank you so much for being here and thank you for all you do for the community.